So what exactly is the allure of this game? Cat, 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 and also me. Cat, cat, yeah, yeah, definitely basically. Cat. Welcome to this Call of Duty and Kittens video, or more so a stray talk video. I've done my research on stray. I'm gonna link you a few stuff, a few stuff, a few stuff, yeah. I'm not natively English speaking. God, I blew my cover already. I'm gonna show you a few links here too in the description below from Reddit and also gaming sites, report sites, review sites. So you know what to look forward with Stray. Yeah, when does it come out? July 19th is the game going to come out for PlayStation 4, 5 and Steam from what I've seen. And if you're on the PlayStation Store and have PlayStation, what it's called, PlayStation Plus, you're gonna get it through that for free if you have PlayStation Plus, that is. And there are a lot of other things people ask and want to know about this game. I should mention that Call of Duty and Kittens means that uh, the kittens of my parents that I've visited uh, often are also in the video in, in some right hand or left hand corner next to the Call of Duty gameplay, the random one, and a few stray pictures from the game and a few clips from the gameplay preview from Stray. But let's not stray around too weirdly into different directions and call. talk more so about the game. Talk more so about the game Stray. Yeah, yeah. You can pre-order it on Steam. It apparently has a lot of pre-orders going for it. So a lot of people pre-ordered the game on the basic knowledge that it's a cat game, which looks amazing if you look the gameplay up. Looks definitely interesting, peaceful and new and very cute. Definitely something different for me, since I'm doing mostly shooters so far. But I'm definitely gonna do a playthrough of Strike. Yes. Yes. First thing people wanted to know, is there a physical edition and they said a physical PS5 version is in the works and I've already seen a picture of it, so I'm gonna show that here too. Yeah, a physical PS5 version apparently will exist, apparently not a PS4 version from what I've seen so far, or they just don't mention it, which can also be a thing that both exist, but since it's a PlayStation Plus game, that's what they expect most people will get this game on, on PlayStation Plus. The next question answers, how long will the, co the campaign be? Around 8 hours they say, longer for picking up all the collectibles. So. Yeah, it's a short game for 25, I bought it for 25 euros, 29 euros or 29 USD digital on the Steam store from what I've seen. Pre-ordering gets a little bit of a discount so far. Yeah, 8 hours for an indie game is pretty normal, I would say. Depends on how much collectible work there is actually, because it seems pretty linear and not open world at all. That is what I would keep in mind from the gameplay I've seen so far. I wouldn't get my hopes up that it's open world. It's pretty surely pretty linear and not so much a parkour game what people think. It's more so press the X button and you jump on that platform from what I've seen and from what ah, Laptop Mac, the gaming site, has written me to. Let's dive into that immediately. The link is of course down below. Yeah, story. Story is your uh, stray cat. Stray the title. And you're trying to find a home. You get a little robot like in Star Wars B12. Definitely a Star Wars reference from what it seems like. 
that was from the order had bd1 from what i remember just played it with mods very cool yeah and we're encountering a lot of robots in the world pretty much just robots and they say it's probably not a platforming game from what they have seen and that's because there's no accuracy involved you simply click the prompted button and you're there there's some bros and cons to this one bro is that this makes the cat's leaps look graceful like a cat should be and that's a good thing in my opinion that it's not too chunky and weird the con of course is that takes away a potential gameplay element from the player but overall strays more of an adventure puzzle game than it's a platforming game and i gotta be honest after playing dying light this year i have enough for cool games behind me that just kind of don't work right in particular yeah yeah that's all you have probably puzzles to talk to robots and there are little enemies balls with mouths pac-mans you gotta escape from or scare away from what i've seen that's all pretty much about the gameplay i'm also gonna link you the steam site where you can pre-order it down below there are also gonna be system requirements huh i just realized i have it in german here burp, burp. gotta translate that somehow yeah i will find a solution <laughs> let's continue oh yeah yeah people have been wondering a lot about cat customization which they have written answers to some uncommon questions on here from devs answered it's the adventure of this particular cat so no customization i assume if this game is gonna do as well as it seems to be doing there will be a stray part two and that's probably what they've seen so far that people want that people need that cat customization that they will do a cat stray two with customization options maybe a dlc even but apparently it's not part of the main game that's pretty much what they have written i'm gonna steal some memes and throw in there ah here the one i stole this meme let me steal it again patrick steal they say or oh, they don't the world is a cruel and unjust place there's no harmony in the universe the only constant is suffering minutes later oh, oh my god cat game i Gotta be honest, I am pretty guilty of that. I pre ordered it like two minutes after I saw the game. And it's definitely gonna be my big July play through. When my friends ask me why I'm so excited about Stray, so uh, basically because cat, of course. I love cats, everybody loves cats. I grew up with cats. I don't have any of my own, but that's mostly well, apartment choice. Too little space for too many cats that I want. Yeah, yeah, I'm definitely gonna do a let's play of this. I'm gonna also drop you well the link of the gameplay trailer that you can watch, which has also typical cat behavior stuff like dropping things into things, dropping vases and bowls of something the cat drinking water the cat cleaning itself puzzles parkour of course a lot of climbing talking to robots apparently there are just robots and there are hostile robots to fight against yeah it looks cyberpunky and very cool that's what i'm looking forward to. so it looks cute it looks cool there are side quests apparently there's one side quest where you give a musician a music sheet so he can play his his notes which the musician is a robot and you cuddle next to him on a pillow that's cute that's cute yeah definitely looking forward to stray there ain't too much info on it yet except for those things i've just named that's mostly because it's probably a pretty short game 
and we're going to see how linear it is for me, most importantly. I hope it's not just a click and point adventure and there's more to it, but that's worst case scenario what it is. And um, yeah, I'm guessing we're going to have to let ourselves get surprised by the story. Happy ending or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See you with more stray footage and gameplay and let's blaze in the future. Peace out.